Hello everyone. With this video, we are continuing our series of ultrasound in obstetrics and gynecology. Now, in a smaller video, we will discuss endometrium on ultrasound. Well, in this video, we will see main main characteristics of the endometrium on different phases of the menstruation cycle and what should be the normal. Now, as we know that there are two phases of menstruation cycle. The first half is called follicular phase and the second half is called luteal phase. Now in the variable cycles, the follicular phase, the days are variable. Generally we consider it as a from day 1 to day 14th. And the luteal phase we consider from day 14th to 28th. We are talking here the ideal menstruation cycle. Now, if we talk about follicular phase, it is again divided into early follicular phase and late follicular phase. In early follicular phase, first one to seven days are generally comes as a menstruation or what we call periods or what we call bleeding. And the rest to seven to fourteenth day in late follicular phase, now endometrium starts uh, generating again. If we talk about early follicular phase or just post menopausal, post, uh, 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 let me say post menstruation endometrium, it looks like this picture seen in the ultrasound. Now, this is the boundaries of uterus you can see here. And now you can see here the white line, very thin white line that is endometrium. The endometrium at this particular phase or in the bleeding phase, is very thin so it's a normal thing now in the now in the proliferative phase of from day 7 to 14th the endometrial proliferation happens and as you can see here this kind of image is there now this is the outline of the uterus and this is the endometrium as you can see here it is a triple line endometrium this is a graphical picture i have shown you and this is a real picture i am telling you this is a triple line endometrium and that is proliferative endometrium seen at the peak of follicular phase now in the luteal phase the endometrium has a secretory changes and that's why the endometrium becomes homogeneous from the triple line it becomes homogeneous like you can see the triple line is lost and now the endometrium homogeneous uh, structure can be seen i have shown in like this in the graphical picture so this is homogeneous or secretory endometrium is a classical picture of progesterone in the cycle and that means luteal phase and when you see this kind of endometrium on the ultrasound you should search for a corpus luteum in the ovaries too now now let's talk about the thickness what should be the thickness and how we measure the thickness if you see endometrium here it is a triple line endometrium of the late follicular phase and if i mark line here this is a triple line endometrium and how we measure the length is uh, follicular uh, sorry endometrial thickness is this this is the thickness we measure on the machine now the normal thickness should be more than 7 mm and up to less than 13 mm so this kind of endometrium considered as a normal endometrium less than 7 can be termed as a thin endometrium if the thin endometrium is a reason for infertility and more than 13 mm endometrium can be called as a hyperplastic endometrium and this kind of endometrium generally requires further investigation for a suspect of endometrial carcinoma thank you friends now we are going to uh, see further videos on the ultrasound uh, series but that will be in uh, included into the membership plan so if you want to join with me the every kind of video on ultrasound with this simple explanation and with simple pictures also i will include some of the videos too please join the channel or the membership on the channel thank you friends